Jack Valley, have you ever fantasized about being a uh, young girl who shoots bow and arrows at robot uh, animals? Uh, not this week, but I think this game might well, satisfy some of that. Uh, this is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I am uh, Batch, and I'm joined by Jack Valley. Uh, this is another binge game cast plays. Um, yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn is an exclusive for the PlayStation 4 right now. We thought we'd check it out because it is the big game right now on PS4. Yep, and uh, I haven't gotten very far in this. We did Andromeda the other day. Um, same type of deal, just sort of diving in and see what it's all about. So uh, we'll just load up the game and see what we see. So here we go. So Jack is driving, I am narrating for those keeping score at home. Yep. So uh, basic premise of the game, all that I know about it is it's set in the future. Somewhere in Colorado, so you can like you can go to real places like Mile High Stadium and stuff, but everything has been overgrown. Um, yes, kind of like The Last of Us, right? Yeah, I guess machines have taken over, and like culture has sort of reverted back to almost like a Viking-like primitive level. Um, Goddamn machines! Yeah, a lot of bow and arrows, a lot of uh, I don't know, a lot of what have yous. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. Um, first section of the game, you're actually, you start right from this character's birth, so I haven't even, the character hasn't even grown into, like, her final form or whatever, but, um, you can see the graphics here, uh, immediately taken back by the graphics. This game looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's one of the things I keep hearing about people who play this. Yeah. That's gorgeous, right there. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put this on pause for just a second. Hold on one second, guys, sorry. All right, sorry about that, guys. Yep. So, uh, in any case, yeah, scenery is pretty nuts. I mean, it's to the point where some some of the trees, they actually have these bugs crawling up them. Let me let me show you this. I mean, look at that level of detail. Mm -hmm. Absolute insanity. So you're still on the tutorial. Pretty much, yeah. This, uh, from what I've found out so far, this isn't um, the character's father. But he's like the father figure. Um, uh, let me see if I can get so a good So he's a creepy uncle. Sort of. It seems like he was sort of tasked with like caring for this child, but it's not really clear why or how. <laughs> he um, fucked up, and then he, this is what he got to do to make up for it. It kind of seems that way, but, you know, we'll see what happens. That's an impressive uh, beard uh, braid. Absolutely. I mean, look at that fucking lens flare. That's incredible looking. That's some J.J. Abrams lens flare right It there. really is, but it's a full spectrum of the rainbow. It's impressive. Uh, this this game is made by Guerrilla Games, who are the studio behind the, the Killzone series. Yes. So graphical expertise, um, definitely something that they're good at. I was never a big Killzone guy, but they looked impressive. Yeah, oh, like, shit. What's up, I... Steve? My buddy Steve's in here. What's up, man? Shout out to Steve. All right, so this is the downside of not listening to the tutorial as you play it. I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, You're being yeah. getty sneaky. Okay, so this is a good example of the, the monsters and the creatures and shit because it's this weird mix of, like, mechanical and organic. Um, mm -hmm. Very cool. It looks like a geth from Mass Effect. <laughs> I was just going to say, it looks like something out of Mass Effect. But, I mean, just look at, like, the... I, I don't know if you guys are getting the full brunt of the graphics over Twitch, but it's almost like every blade of grass is animated. I mean, it's really impressive. And you don't even have, like, a PlayStation Pro. You just have the normal PS4, right? Correct. Yeah. There's another one. So, development of this game began in 2011. So, this game's been brewing for a while. Mm. And it's got a 89 out of 100 on Metacritic. So, pretty much everybody loves this game so far. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gotten rave reviews everywhere. Is this the first time I'm playing this? Uh, Steve, this is the second time I'm playing this, but this is as far as I've gotten. So, so we'll see what happens. But that's what we do here at the B, uh, Binge Game Cast. We like to uh, dive into uncharted territory as well as revisit some old classics. So, and then that means one day we will actually dive into Uncharted. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Uncharted's definitely on the short list. That game, oof, that, any of those. So can you attack that thing, or just have to is it just teach you how like, to be sneaky around it? It looks like he's just teaching me how to sneak right now. I don't really have any weapons. I do have a scanner, so if I hit R3, I can scan items around me, and it kind of seems like that's going to be a big part of the gameplay. Um, the opening area had me scanning the inside of what looked like a big battleship or something that I ended up in, and uh, finding a, a way to a switch to get out. So Nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and they treat this girl like an outsider too. Um, Just like, like a piece of shit. <laughs> kind of like there are these other kids who are playing earlier, and they give her a bunch of shit, or rather, they kind of ignore her, and the adults ignore her too. So there's definitely like they kind of plant the seed that there's something about this chick that's uh, off, or maybe she's part of a different tribe or something. It's it's not really. Would you clear say it like a like a literal redheaded stepchild? Yeah, exactly. Now I gotta say this this Viking looking guy right here, yeah. uh, who was his name? Rost or Cost? Um, Rost. He uh, I don't know why, but I just feel like that's Kupka. Like if you just look at this guy, <laughs> that's Kupka all day. He's got a bow and arrow made out of fucking antlers. He's got just an egregious amount of facial hair. So that would be Kupka if he uh, cosplayed. Exactly. All right, so yeah, there's a, some uh, resource gathering. Oh, and there's some more stuff. And so far, the creatures that I've seen, they've all been um, very consistent with the design, but also each of them is unique unto themselves. So like those Watchers, they definitely oh, they looked, looked more bird-like. Yeah, they, they looked more bird-like or like a, a raptor almost, whereas those things that we just saw that I missed the name of are... Uh, much more of like a horse or probably some sort of mountable animal at some point in the game. Uh, from the game footage that I have seen of this, uh, a big part of the combat is blasting parts off the actual animals to wear them down. Yeah, which seems awesome. Well, yeah. So I'm just picking up rocks. And because I've played RPGs before, I have to pick up <laughs> every fucking rock. Because, you know, that's what kids do in these games. They pick up rocks, they pick up plants. You're just now telling me how to sprint? I figured that out as soon as I started playing, <laughs> man. Fuck your tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, like, god damn it. Just look at those cliff sides. I mean, it's it really is. It's uncharted level graphics. You're making me want to pick this up now. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Somebody suggested on Reddit, I think, that uh, they should get Guerrilla Games to make an Avatar video game. Um, yeah, there was one back in the day, and it was it was okay back like, when 360, when that movie first dropped. Yeah. I remember playing a ton of that. Oh, that's that so cool. Movie. I saw it like, in theater like four times. Yeah. Mix ancient and high tech. That's cool. Yeah, I love the design of Rost. Like you, everything on him, it looks like it was made from pieces of animals that he's slaughtered. Mm -hmm. Anybody who walks around with a full boar face with tusks on, you, you don't fuck with that guy. Throw a rock near. Ah, oh, so it's Metal Gear. <laughs> exactly. You do that, and that I, was, I was just going to joke, instead of an exclamation point, it's a question mark. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have to stab that nice little raptor-looking fucker. So what is there to eat on these fucking things if they're all fucking metal? That's a good question. I feel like that's a question that they don't want to answer, though. <laughs> no. It's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Batch. Hold on, i got to pick up all the other stuff. I get this fucking tree. I'll get this thing over here. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that crafting is going to play a big part in this game. 
I, I haven't seen too much, but in a couple of the review videos that I watched, it seemed like crafting is an active part of the fighting. Like, yeah. as you're in a battle, sometimes, like, you'll knock something off of a boss and then have to use that to make mm -hmm. another piece of a different weapon. Or What are your menu screens like, uh, or, or do you have access to those yet? Actually, you're about to find out, because this is the first time I've gotten into them, so weapon wheel. That's why, that's why I'm Captain Segway. Yeah, exactly. Press and hold X. Okay. I like me a good weapon wheel. Nice. Okay. So yeah, it's teaching me how to make my own arrows. There you go. God Skill damn everyone it. should know. Dude, those that that's Oh god damn it. That lens flare is so cool. Oh, and this is actually a good time to try that out. Just like Uncharted, there is a photo mode. And there I'm now go. stuck. And I can't get out. No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. No oh, shit. What are those things? Those are those horse things that we scared off earlier. Oh, yeah, that... Nice. Don't be so noisy this time. You know, why don't you shut your mouth, okay? I paid for this game. Alright, let's try this again. What I was trying to do was show off photo mode. So photo mode is pretty goddamn robust. Um, let's see if we can screw with this a little bit. So Get some selfies going. Trying to... It's a little bit funky, but one of these menus... Oh, crane up, crane down. That's what it is. Is okay. there a maximized lens flare option in this <laughs> That's what I'm trying to grab is that lens flare. <laughs> Got a little bit there. Oh, there you go. Well, something like that. And then you do one of these, and then do your screenshot. We'll close photo mode for now, because nobody else wants to see that shit. Okay, so we got to sneak up on the horsies. So we're going to do that. The robot horsies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this game uh, has mounts and all that kind of stuff too, right? Oh, yeah. Eventually. So let's see here. Teaching me to hunt. Hmm. Hide. Where to package. <laughs> Strange that it still refers to it as hide. Alright, scan. I, I have many questions. Are these hatched? Are they made? Is there a factory? Yeah, I mean, if I were a betting man, I would assume that at some point they get into the whole yeah, artificial so intelligence the thing. They gotta aim for the weak parts, the glowing parts. Yeah. Is Dr. Wiley the end boss of this game? <laughs> Oh, huh, cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. So just take out that glowy part, and away you go. And I will take all. Nice. Ah, oh, dude, this is one of those games you just want to sit there and like look at everything. Follow. I can run faster than you, old man. All right, come on now, come it's on. It's almost now. like what you would want out of the next Far Cry game, where they were going like with uh, Far Cry Primal. Yeah, you know it's funny because that was the first game that I thought of when I first heard about this. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it, you know it's tough, especially with the backlogs getting crazy. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I really kind of forced myself over the weekend. The little bit of gaming that I did do, I didn't touch the Andromeda. Um, uh, was a pre-release really outside of the stream that we did um, and I didn't touch this I really was trying to focus on Neo and I'm still loving Neo it's a great game but um, but it's one of those games that's going to creep back or in back or in the backlog as new awesome games like this come out well if I if I allow myself to not you know finish that game before starting this one that's going to be a problem so 
I'm really trying to not do that. But this goddamn game's Sucks making a very compelling argument for me to ditch Neo. Sucks to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah, him and his fucking Jack's Viking haircut. They find that boy and kick him to death. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Nope. You're gonna want to watch this. <laughs> Don't help that guy. Okay. So that piece she picked up at the beginning. Um, she found it on, like, a dead body or something. I think a skeleton, maybe. And once she put it on, that little Bluetooth headset, it kind of... That's her scanner, and it seems to be mapping things out that no one else can see. Is there batteries in these things? Could be. Let's see. Way to go, Ross. Yeah. Just goes to show anybody named Rost or Ross is the worst. Um, is, is that good? I don't think that's good. Oh, there's a fox. <laughs> oh, that's at cool. Least the weak point, at least the weak point is, like, right in front of it. Well, look at that. You can see where they're going. Very cool. Awesome. That is very dope. Show how much sound you're making, okay? Where's this little fuckboy right here? What are the rocks? Where does rocks go? Oh, it's forcing you to rescue them, isn't it? Yeah, I agree, Reptard. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Do you start picking these off or do you not have your bow and arrow anymore? Don't have the bow and arrow, so this is just sneaking. Ah, uh, sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm trying distracting those fucking guys. Yeah, because you can throw rocks and shit, right? Yeah. Alright, so all their attention is diverted. Let's see here. I'm supposed to be paying attention to their paths, but I think I can kind of finagle my way through this. Yeah, the AI shouldn't be that difficult at the beginning of the game when they're just teaching you the basic systems. Shouldn't be. Keyword. Because that's kind of what you want in these games, be able to beat it any way you want, whether just a barrel in head first or try and do the stealth route. Well, yeah, plus there, with a game like this, it seems like there are just so many concepts at play, too. Like, it wouldn't make sense to make it brutally difficult right from the outset. I mean, this isn't fucking Dark Souls, you know? No, I'd definitely be interested to see, like, what the lore of this game is. Because mm. I can see it being fairly successful, so they'll make the obligatory comics and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Lead the boy to safety. Oh, God. Is there anybody in my path? Yeah, there's one fucker. Yeah, this is when you need to know the paths. Fuck you. Look at the rock. You're I, stupid. I love the scan interface, too, because it's not like the Batman Dark Knight mode where it just darkens out the whole screen. It just gives you the information you need and just makes it nice and bright. I, you know me. I'm a Batman guy. I love those games. But if I have one yeah. criticism of them, especially in it's Arkham Knight... Mode. Yeah. I love the idea of detective mode. It's just, it, it kind of, it makes it so that you have to play, at, like, with detective mode on all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. Seems like this is a little more reliant on making the interface more three-dimensional and, uh, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit more interesting, I would say, rather than just grids and lines and, like you said, darkness. But... Seems like a good balance of both in this game. Yeah. That being said, still love the Arkham Knight games. No no oh, yeah. complaints there. I even love Arkham Knight. I know a lot of people give it shit. but I don't think I've ever been Arkham Knight. No, Arkham Origins is the only game. People give a lot of shit. That's true. Yeah. I like that one too, though. So People can go fuck themselves. I think that's the only one I haven't beaten yet. 
Yeah, see, they're still giving this girl shit. They're like, yeah, fuck you, you're not part of us. Fucking redhead little bitch. Yeah, pretty much. But I love the, the uh, character design. I mean, you could just really... Yeah. You just pay attention to Rost and every detail of his costume. Mm-hmm. There's... It's like there's history behind it. He's got a little bit of gray in the beard and in the hair. Really nice touches. I may actually get that haircut. I wish you would. Don't dare me. (laughs) That's good. Throw a rock in somebody's face. It's productive. Oh, this asshole. This is the one I've heard about, like... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do we get to murder these kids? <laughs> oh, you don't, get to choose what you do? Don't sound so happy about murdering children, Jack. <laughs> Knock the rock from his hands. Aim for his head. Aim for his head. Aim Fight for his them. Head. Or drop the rock. I don't know, man. I like to go the brainy route, so I'm going to go ahead and knock the rock out of his hand. Just like in yeah, Braveheart. Yeah, we're going for entertainment value for this quick look. Yeah, Play that's right. Safe. That's right. Fucking smarter than you. Ooh. It's like in Braveheart, when uh, William Wallace comes back to his village and hits Brendan Gleeson in the face with that tiny rock. Yep. I am William Wallace. Kill the kid. See, I'm not alone. Hardwood's on board. Yeah. Lame. (laughs) It may be lame, but it's how I'm playing the game, all right? Hmm. That's what second playthroughs are for. Yeah. Outcasts. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, I, I mean, all of the cutscenes, from what I have seen so far, it seems like they're seamlessly integrated into the gameplay. Which um, is good because low times suck. Yeah, I mean, it, it again, it's the Uncharted model, right? I mean, yeah. you have the the cutscenes aren't pre-rendered necessarily, but they they smoothly sort of mix into the gameplay so that it never feels like you're stopping one thing to start another, you know? Mm-hmm. Another great thing that our, you know, one of our uh, other plays videos for God of War 3 does pretty well is uh, keeps you in the story the whole time, you know? Yep. It's just poor game design. Like, if... Uh... Developers can't figure out how to do the loads in the background while they actually airing cinemas because that's kind of it, that's a must now for any of these kind of games. Yeah, I'd say so. It's like Resident Evil waiting to go through a door. Now, there's one thing that worries me a little bit about this game. Um, Montage. Yeah. Not actually, you know, not even so much for this game, more for the new God of War. Um, yeah. So the new God of War is going to be focused on Kratos and what looks like his daughter. Um, yeah. if that's the case, this game kind of looks like what I would imagine God of War 4 would be like. I was about to say that. Like, it's got me excited for what we're going to see in God of War if the technology is at this kind of point now. Yeah, so I'm just hoping that it's unique enough to, uh, set itself apart, you know? Because, I mean, that if they're going for, like, Norse mythology, I mean, this guy is clearly based on a Viking. So, I don't know. Either way, Netflix in the HUD right there. Yeah, exactly. Barefoot jumping from tree to tree. Oh God, can you imagine the splinters? Oh Oh my God. (laughs) Well, I think it's fitting that uh, we end this uh, quick look on the the training montage. Yeah, it's uh, game's looking pretty good, man. I'm excited yeah. to get into it more. I may actually, uh, I don't know, I may may continue this stream tonight because now I'm getting into this shit. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, as far as uh, oh, cool transition. Oh, it's filmmaking right there, folks. That's nice. 
Oh, that was fucking cool, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely streaming this tonight. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going long on this quick look. <laughs> We're doing it live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. The game just got that much cooler. Yes, bitch. Through the fucking I heart. Want... Yes. I want her riding on a fucking mouth, just ganking him. On yeah. Fucking <laughs> Look at <now>. that. <laughs> oh. Now he looks aged. That's impressive. There are more lines on his face, you know? Yeah. He stopped putting the Just for Men in his beard. It, well, yeah, pretty much. Ross? All right. Well, I, I mean, we got to stay on this for a little while longer. We got to see how she oh, handles yeah. as like an adult now. Ross? She's got her own Viking shit going on. Seeing yeah. more braids. Still got her Bluetooth headset. By far one of the most unique stories out there. Yeah, we got it, Steve, okay? We got it. You played the game. Thank you. Not just fuck with you, Steve. She's listening to the binge cast on that Bluetooth. Oh, of course. Alright, so so the handling's a little bit better as an adult. She yeah. definitely is yep. quicker. I got a feeling it's gonna be like very Assassin's creed -y in terms of climbing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But you can see the motion blur and everything. Like it, it just all looks good. Everything looks mm, right. It's smooth. Bullseye, bitch. Okay, melee, very nice. There you go. Can knock over small machines using R two. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. So you have a couple melee options. I had a feeling it would be like an assassinate mate to immediately move in the game. Cool. Now let's collect all this shit. Because we'll probably fucking need it. And I'll take this. And of course I gotta knock you guys over because it just wouldn't Why be not? fair to the others. People with OCD must hate games like these. Oh, cool. So campfires are your saves. All right. Save the game. Just like Tomb Raider. I'll tell you what, man. Out of all the games that i played in the past two years since I got the Xbox, I think uh -huh. Tomb Raider, the second one, I, I unfairly rushed through that. I think I need to replay that. I love the first one. Um, I got played that back on PS3 when that launched. I haven't played the second one yet. I remember it was pretty incredible, but I think I rushed through it because Uncharted 4 was coming out. Yeah. And they're pretty much the same game at this point. Mm. Can I make that gap? Let's check. Alright, here we go. That looks like a zip line too. I cannot make that gap. That was bullshit. She was right there. She should have grabbed that ledge. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, nope. And she's dead. <laughs> game over. <laughs> that's it. One save game. That's it. Once you die, game over. You gotta start over at the beginning when she's a kid. Alright, let's try that again. Good thing we saved. It's called not sucking. Oh, so something you know nothing about, Steve? Steve. I miss Steve. Steve's a buddy from college. And I would, we would shit talk each other all the time. It was great. I haven't had anybody to just l vent my frustrations on in quite some time. Mm -hmm. See if you can do that zipline. Can I climb up here? I can. Okay. Still impressive. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Water effects could use a little work. But overall, I think uh, this is a rather satisfying open world. Mm -hmm. And here's Viking Daddy. Can you access the map yet? Uh, no, not yet. Is everything okay? Why the hold up? Because I'm curious to see uh, how big uh, this world actually is. Hmm. 
let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, this is probably a good time to wrap up our uh, plays video. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. Um, give us a call, 708-406-9546. You can call into the main show, leave us a voicemail. You can send us an email at uh, bingegamecast at gmail.com. And as always, check back here for more plays videos. Um, don't forget to hit like on the video and subscribe below. Yes, please subscribe and make sure you've reviewed us on iTunes if you haven't already. We appreciate those of you who went and did that. And, uh, yeah, again, give us a little bit of feedback. Let us know what games you want to see. Um, mm -hmm. I think Grand Theft Auto is a pretty popular one, so we're going to have to do that pretty soon. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll figure out a game night and get some of you listeners in on it. So Absolutely. So, yeah. All right, uh, for myself and Batch... We say peace. Dangerous. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley.